guess we're just going to have to call this video number two. Um, I would suggest initially to come here on a on a tourist visa for three months and zip over to Korea on the ferry and then come back and you get another three months. Look at all these in here. Beautiful. Look all the way up there. Um, and then contact these companies. That um, another hundred yen. Oh, I tell you, I could feed myself. That, that's all booze. They're like the hundred yen um, or sake, um, sake, uh, um, uh, sake. <laughs> um, oh my god, all sake. Sometimes they're shochu. That's dangerous stuff. That's like a distilled kind of fortified wine I guess you could call that stuff that's pretty pretty rough yes. I've got another battery and another memory card in the car so because I really wanted to come here again yep tell you some Richie sent me one of those GoPro-y things I tell you imagine the things I could show you people yo people <laughs> Da, 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 da. Oh, I'm quite excited because I've got a whole bunch of really good stuff. I guess over the course of this week I'll um I'll uh, upload things and do photo shoots. Oh, wouldn't this be a great place for a photo shoot? Wouldn't this be a great place to live? <laughs> yes. Um yeah, so for that chap and those that are interested on that's just coming over here, getting a feel for the place. And then, uh, yeah, contacting those companies. Get yourself just one of those run-of-the-mill jobs, you know. Uh, that way you get... Uh, oh, oh, burping. I ate a lot. <laughs> um, hello. <laughs> it's a lizard. Um, I have it on good authority. That that's awesome. Oh, that's an interesting looking Ishidoro, is it not? Stone lantern with that design. They usually like half of that, the top piece. Or well, the second top piece, I guess. Was it? Um, oh, loads of money in there. Actually, that's, <laughs> I could tell you a story there. Um, The reason why I know this place exists is because I've driven past it a number of times and you see all the trees all around. I saw this massive head <laughs> right? when I was on a road that's uh, over there and I saw this head and I'm like, nah, I have to go and check that out. I must go check that out. Definitely. I've even been in there, I recall. Um, right, back to what I was battling with. Whoa, look at the size of there. That's uh, the biggest incense. I don't recall this. So much to see. It's just eye candy. So I can't believe I can't remember this. That's for your incense. Senko. That's called Senko. And sometimes I send that stuff to my customer members. I remember this had um, a whole bunch of. Um, that had a whole bunch of. Uh, bells and things in there. Oh, look at that gorgeous. Is he just gorgeous? Oh, I mean, you don't get much better than that, do you? Right? No wonder I wrote down, they asked me at the airport, when, on the plane, they give you these things and they ask you what your, your uh, occupation is. And I had a few drinky poos, this is years ago, and I wrote down, and I'm thinking, ah, no one ever reads this garbage anyway, so I wrote down supermodel. So uh, I fly into New Zealand and they, they said to me, I did have a few drinky peas, <laughs> it was from Perth to uh, Auckland and uh, they said to me, uh, you wrote down supermodel uh, on your occupation and I said, just straight face, I said, yeah, yes that's right. <laughs> well they made me pull out everything out of my, um, out of my, <laughs> out of my backpack and then put it all back in and blah de blah. We don't take no runs in here. 
So, you are. Now, at some stage, this would have had water in here, and this is where you wash your hands with that ladle there, and you, you can have a bit of, sort of, you wash your mouth, and you can spit it in there, and rad. Yes. Let's go for some more vanity. <laughs> right then. Now, what we're going to do is go somewhere. Now, that's all cordoned and off so we'll go that just rad. So we'll, we'll go down here I guess yeah let's go down shaking everywhere so I need one of those thingies that a gopro -y thing one of these days one of these days if I ever get rich enough I'll do that I think I was babbling about two things at the same time right um, sort of answering that fellow um, I guess I can help you with a bit of the old Nihongo, um, this and that, but I'm in the, uh, I'm way in the west of Japan, and so the, as far as work is concerned, there's not really, the opportunities aren't there in Fukuoka, in Kyushu itself, really. You're better off going to an area where there's a lot of opportunities because you get one of these rudimentary jobs right they don't pay a lot but they handle your visa situation sure they own your ass my friend. they own you but you get your visa they'll help you out with accommodation um, sometimes they'll put you with like for example I met these Vietnamese girls recently one of them was a hottie I can tell you the one that was a bit of a noddy she could speak English, but the hottie, she couldn't speak English. So that was the end of that. Uh, anyways, um, but she was keen on me, the, the hottie. But we couldn't communicate, or we had to communicate through the noddy. <laughs> so, um, you know, um, hey, I'm male, all right? A real one. So, you know, I'll talk like that if I wish. And I'm not, not prepared to change. So, and that was that, but anyways, they were all living together in this one house, which a lot of people, like myself, I guess, I like my own place, um, but uh, they were having a great time, they're all together, and they're all working at the same place, big company, and all living in the same accommodation, and uh, house, actually, and having a riot, you know, and so that sort of situation can arise or some places you know you get your own apartment or they'll subsidize your accommodation costs and things like that so there are in the um, major industrial industrial zones and that wants a, a shop so here would be quite lively and busy during festival seasons um, and festival times now, uh, yeah, the major industrial zones, you know, you get, there's plenty of work, you can get work as a foreigner, your Japanese will um, improve vastly um, as they throw you in the deep end. Nichirenji. Now, you'll see in my, um, my I just uh, had a few sculptures, this sculpture thing, an iron sculpture from Nichiren. You'll see my stone sculpture is Nichiren. Uh, of whom is a famous Buddhist monk, Nichiren, the temple of the Tendai sect of Buddhism. He is said to have been established in 940 by Takafusu Fujiwara, a local official in the Heian, oh, what they called? Heian, is that how it's known? Heian period is 794 to 1192. It was built as a temple of the Soto school of Zen sect, of the Zen sect by the Kikuchi family in 1316. The temple has many cultural assets, including a stone monument under which are the hairs of 17 Akko clan samurai warriors, including Yoshio Oishi. Oishi? Oishi? Oishi. Oishi? Yoshio Oishi. Uh, who were put under the charge of Tsunatoshi Hosokawa, and then the then head of the Hosokawa clan in December of 1702. Mm -hmm. Nichirenji, 
Nichirenji Temple. So you'll find that I have a my very own Nichiren stone statue and he weighs oh my, my he's, he's heavy. <laughs> yes, let's go up here now. This place is just gorgeous. Kanichiwa. It's one of the worker taps. Probably wonder what the hell is that guy Jin doing here? No, it's probably one of what the hell is that gorgeous looking guy Jin doing here? Now I did plan on going down oh, I'll do it anyway. No, I can't really can I? Because they've got uh they've got this wall that they're building over there. Because over there you'll find is um a statue of Kannon Sama known as the Gar, known as Gar. I guess we could head down those stairs over there. Let us, let us continue. Okay. I'll flick off into that. Okay. Oh. Ah, so I'm saying. Okay, survive that. Just gorgeous. Got all the terraces all the way up there. There's some kind of footpathy things that go into the wherevers over there. And all around are the they're all new haka of the recently past. And down there I know of I know of um see all these paths here, see? Hmm. Right, back to that story. So I would suggest um coming over here, getting a feel of it, um going to the the major areas using that website that I mentioned uh, as a guide to where generally the work could be um, get yourself that sort of work which is not great money but the benefits of it are that uh, you know that it's the visa thing that's the hurdle once you've got that get yourself some um, private English teaching lesson type deals um, they're really fun I've done them before I just meet people in the park or wherever sit down and just they, <laughs> they just want to talk you know communicate in English that's pretty much it then you, you create your own groups it's all cash in hand and uh, you get a group of people together everyone chucks in 10 bucks and you're good to go you know a lot of people do that well, you get to meet a, you get to meet quite a few sorts. Just, just uh, that's just between us and the rest of the world on YouTube. <laughs> God damn it! Look at these. Huh? Look at oh, that navy and army. Is it? I have to investigate that. Now some of them around here crazy old like really old and some are beautiful and new well they're all beautiful new like this You know, uh, uh, years ago I was here, and I, see if I, if I saw this from afar. I was here, and I found a rock over there, and I figured what I'll do, I'll film myself walking around this, all the grounds here, and I'll pick up that rock. I'll place it 
there's a path that goes all the way down there. Just, oh, oh. there's a tree, you know, dig a hole and then put the rock in the tree. I didn't do it, but I thought about it. And then filming my walking around here, and one day, if I ever end up in something like that, which I couldn't afford to do, maybe they'll just chuck me over here. Um, my kid, you see, might go and find the rock something to remember me by. How's that? It's free. This ain't free. Um, so that that was an idea. That that idea fizzled. <laughs> I wonder if that rock's still down there anyway. Wow. So there's so much beauty in it, isn't there? Like uh Beauty and you know, even beauty and in death. Yeah, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful, isn't it? I kind of like that. I, I go to cemeteries, like, even in my own land. I go to cemeteries and read the the times and the dates and all that. It's I hope I'm not wasting my time doing that. <laughs> you know, how many days do we, on average, do people get? Hmm. These places here are where they keep the, the bones and things. Of, of those that have passed. Mm. Mm. Families come 